Jazz Club. So my name is Jessica Stewart. I'm American from Massachusetts, and I moved to Rome in 2005. So I started getting interested in street art just because I was looking for a way to um, show Rome in a different light than what I think foreigners usually see it as the Trevi Fountain and the Colosseum. Um, and so in 2008 when I started photographing, I just, you know, sort of stumbled upon it. And because my background is in art history, I became interested in learning more about it. So I started photographing street art in 2008. Um, I had a blog called uh, Rome Photo Blog where I was just photographing urban Rome and one weekend I was photographing the San Lorenzo neighborhood and started noticing all the different street art there and then my curiosity just sort of grew and then I sort of got to know the artist and it just sort of blossomed um, from there because at the time it wasn't really something um, that people talked a lot about in relationship to Rome so um, it was interesting to sort of explore that. I mean, it was a natural byproduct of me living here. I studied more classical art, so I moved to Rome, you know, like I think a lot of people do because of the history um, and the archaeology and all of that. And then as I lived here longer, I became more interested in understanding more about contemporary Rome. Um, I was in my 20s and sort of my peers and what they were doing. and. So that's how I discovered street art, and then the book was a natural extension of that. Again, because especially at the time, there wasn't really anything written about street art in Rome, especially in English. Um, and so I really sort of wanted to create a time capsule of this moment um, when it was still underground, but just burgeoning and sort of, um, you know, honor the group of artists who were working here when really, you know, no one understood what they were doing. Yeah, street art in Rome has changed a lot, just like I think it's changed all over the world, you know, from a very underground phenomenon to something that now has galleries and curators and museum exhibitions and, and books and auctions and all of the sort of stuff that the contemporary world art has. Um, and so it's interesting. Rome, maybe it's happened a little bit later than some of the other big cities, but it's happening here too, which I think um, the fact that the Macro Museum is hosting a big, big exhibition about street art and graffiti is a huge deal um, because, you know, I think in Italy sometimes it can take a little bit longer for, for those trends um, to reach here. So yeah, it's quite interesting and you have a lot of Italian artists and a lot of Roman artists who are hugely famous all over the world. So um, it's definitely, it's a different time, you know, it's not as spontaneous and and underground as it was before, but it's an exciting time in the sense that um, the artists who really seize the opportunity now see themselves being able to do more and more. Um, it's hard to say. I mean, I think now, like, things are so global, you know, people see trends online everywhere, and so it's less sort of niche um, than before. So it's hard to say, especially because you have so many international artists also coming here. So I think there's less of a distinguishing line than there used to be. I would have said in the past, um, more small scale, more poster art, because there weren't very many walls available, more figurative um, art, less sort of conceptual pieces, but that's changing, you know? So, um, and I think, yeah, a large part of that is due to the internet and the proliferation of information and also just how much all these artists are traveling. So they're not like stuck so much just in one place. But I do still think that Italy in general has maybe very painfully and figurative and I'm sure that has something to do with, you know, its heritage overall.